All right, just going to do a video showing that Calvinism is refuted and totally destroyed by examples of unplanned turn of events that occurred in the scriptures. So I'm going to show that because there are so many examples of, of unplanned events, things happening against the will of God, and things happening that God said he commanded not, didn't come into his mind. Uh, it's all through the scriptures that destroy the Calvinistic false doctrine of denial of free will, which is a, a gateway to other kinds of heresies too. So I'm going to show examples of unplanned turn of events in the scripture that refute Calvinism. So some examples of events that occurred that were unplanned or against the will of God, which presupposes free will. Here are some examples of those. God called faithless Israel, faithless backsliding Israel to repentance, but they refused to hearken to God's clear will. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 6 to 7. The Lord said also unto me in the, in the days of Josiah the king, Hast thou seen that which backsliding Israel hath done? She has gone up upon every high mountain and under every green tree, and there hath played the harlot. And I said, After she has do, had done all these things, Turn thou unto me, but she returned not, and her treacherous sister Judah saw it. God saying, Turn to me, come on, turn to me, and they refusing to do so. Presupposes free will. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 19 to 20. But I said, How shall I put thee among the children, and give thee a pleasant land, a goodly heritage, and of the host of nations? And I said, Thou shalt call me my father, and shalt not turn away from me. Surely as a wife treacherously departed, treacherously, treacherously departeth from her husband, so have ye dealt treacherously with me, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. God did not want that to happen, because what they did it anyway. They acted against his will. Uh, God regretted setting up Saul as king because Saul failed to follow God's commandments, which means he acted against the clear will of God. 1 Samuel chapter 15, verses 10 to 11. 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 10 to 11. Then came the word of the Lord unto Samuel, saying, It repenteth me that I have set up Saul to be king, for he has turned back from following me. And hath not performed my commandments, and it grieved Samuel, and he cried unto the Lord all night. First Samuel chapter fifteen verse thirty five. And Samuel came no more to see Saul until the day of his death. Nevertheless, Samuel mourned for Saul, and the Lord repented that he made Saul that he had made Saul king over Israel. He acted against his will. It repented him. He had regret over doing it. It was against. It was unplanned turn of events that Saul. What Saul did, it refutes the Calvinistic denial of free will. God wanted the vineyard of the Lord to bring forth grapes, but instead it brought forth wild grapes. You know, and the vineyard is the house, house of Israel. It brought forth wild grapes instead of what God wanted, which were grapes. Isaiah chapter five, verse one to two. And like I said, the vineyard is Israel, by the way, too. Isaiah chapter five. Verse 1 to 2. Now will I sing to my well beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well beloved hath a vineyard in a, in a very fruitful hill, and he fenced it, and gather, gathered out the stones thereof, and planted it with the forest, with, with the choicest vine, and built a tower in the midst of it, and also made a wine press therein, and he looked that it should bring forth grapes, and it brought forth wild grapes. He wanted to bring forth grapes, but guess what? Instead, it brought forth wild grapes, clearly against God's will. And finally, in the days of Noah, uh, mankind was so wicked that God repented even making mankind, which presupposes mankind had the ability to act in a manner that was clearly against the will of God. Genesis chapter uh, 6, verse 5 to 7. Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 to 7. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom, whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made, that I have made them. They were acting against his will. They were acting contrary. It was unplanned turn of events, which which happened. It goes against the Calvinistic denial and this thing that God, everything happens is God's will. Well, here are these examples here. It wasn't God's will what happened. God called them, called it backsliding Israel to repentance. They refused. He wanted uh, grapes. It brought forth wild grapes instead. He created mankind, but they're acting so wickedly, he regretted even making mankind. He made Saul, Saul king over Israel, but then he regrets doing it later on. 
It's free will. It goes against the Calvinistic false doctrine of denying free will. Don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.